Hi everyone, so today we're making the Ollie Cook from the Legend of Sleepy Hollow series. Now the Ollie Cook is like the grandpa of the donut, but if you actually check the dictionary on how they've written it, it seems to be very specific to the Hudson Valley region, which is where Sleepy Hollow is located. Now I did come across a few recipes for Ollie Cook. Now the first one seemed to describe it as having citrus and almonds and apple mixed directly into the dough. But then I came across another recipe from Albany, New York from around the 17 or 1800s and they actually had it where raisins and dried citrus were soaked in brandy and folded into the center of the dough before cooking. And I did make that one quite a few times and I found that it just cooked a whole lot more consistently. Now eventually someone came up with the idea of just poking a hole through the center of the dough and making a donut. And the doughy donut actually is described in the legend of Sleepy Hollow. So for this recipe, we're actually gonna make one batch of the dough and make nine of the Oli Cook and then nine of the doughy donuts. So the night before you're gonna make this, you're going to want to grab your dried fruit. I grabbed about one cup and it's a mix of raisins and citrus. And you're gonna pour about a quarter cup of brandy over that. Cover that and let that soak overnight. Now the day you make your Ollie Cook or your Doherty Donuts, you're going to grab 1 8 of a cup of warm water. You're gonna sprinkle a packet of dry yeast on top of that. You're gonna give that a stir and cover that in a warm spot. Meanwhile, you're going to warm together one cup of milk and four tablespoons of butter. Then you're gonna mix in two egg yolks and one egg white, half a cup of white sugar and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. You're gonna stir in the yeast, then begin mixing in the flour one cup at a time until you get the consistency of a soft dough. Then you're gonna cover that, set that aside in a warm place to rise for about an hour. Meanwhile, you're gonna grab your fruits and you're gonna drain that of the brandy. When your dough is ready, you're gonna grab an egg-sized piece of that dough, tear that off, create a well in the middle, fill that with some of the fruits, and then close the dough back up. So you're gonna to want to prep all your dough first before you fry it. So once that's all prepped, you're gonna grab a saucepan, fill it deep with vegetable oil, and bring it to about 170, 175 degrees Celsius. So you will want a candy thermometer to double check that you're reaching that temperature because you aren't gonna want it any hotter than 180 degrees Celsius. When the oils reach that temperature, you are going to pop that dough just one or two at a time into that hot oil and just deep fry them until they're golden brown. Then you're gonna remove them and let them drain on some paper towels before serving. Now, if you saw the first video of the crullers, I would definitely say combining your crullers and your Oli Coke and your Doherty Donuts and make them all at the same time because the whole thing is about deep frying and it's just gonna help streamline your process if you're gonna be making this for a party. If you want some more tips and tricks, our first video talks all about the Legend of Sleepy Hollow Party and how I would set up my timeline, but we've got more recipes to come, so I hope you guys pop back next and I will see you in the next video.